case you don't know by now, I have gotten a solid state drive. It's a 60 gigabyte OCZ um, Agility 3. SATA 3, you know, it's um, it's gonna be very fast. And so this is gonna be a video on me how installing Lion, like it's sort of not really like a how-to, but it's just sort of a you know um, over my shoulder sort of perspective on how I would install Lion. And I'm gonna be using the USB drive I made. If you wanna know how to do this, how to install Lion on a Hackintosh from a USB drive, or I guess on a legit Mac, you probably do it as well. Go ahead and click this video right here. And now that's just my last video and it's going to show you guys how to do that. So before I ramble anymore, this intro is already up to like 40 seconds, so let's go ahead and just jump right in. Alright, so here's my little flash drive that I made. Like I said, it's 8 gigabytes. Every, all the details are in the video I linked you guys to. So here is my computer, and I'm just going to go and plug this right in there. And my computer will automatically boot from USB. So now I'll get this set up so you guys can actually see them all. Alright, you're getting a nice view of the blank screen. So here goes my computer now turning on and you should be seeing the bio screen very shortly all right there we go all right and there's the boot letter so as you can see Mac OS 10 base system that's what I want so now you'll see some fun scrolling code that's nothing too much to worry about you've seen this before in my previous videos that's just the bootloader sort of a verbose boot just showing you what's going on Alright, here's a little different angle for you guys. Hopefully it's not too bad, just something different. But so now we're going to go ahead and click next. And we're going to come up to Disk Utility. And this is very fast since it's on a uh, drive and not like a DVD. Alright, and as you guys can see, here is my 60 gigabyte um, OCZ drive. I'm just going to go ahead and erase as a journal. And we'll name this SSD for now. So as you can see, SSD, that's fine. Actually, we're going to make sure that this is um, the way we want it. We're just going to do one partition, SSD, and we're going to go click Options and make sure that it's GUID. Okay, I wanted to be sure. MBR will not work with OS 10. It will, but it won't play very nice. It's so now partition and the partition is complete so we'll go ahead and quit out of disk utility alright so now we'll go and continue I agree of course even though this is an unauthorized machine I'm over it alright so um, hopefully you guys can see that SSD has been accepted and uh, we're gonna go ahead and install So we'll see how long this takes. I'll time it. Right now it's 3.43 and we'll see how long this takes. Okay, I'm kind of at a loss for words. I will say that this is quite um, not accurate. I did take it. Did, it took me about 30 seconds to get this started, but um, there it goes booting in the back. But back to what I was saying. So really, this is about five and a half minutes to install an operating system. That is absolutely crazy. I don't care what you say or who you are. Five minutes to install an entire OS is absolutely insane. I can't wait to see how fast it boots. Okay, I decided to edit that up because that wasn't really a true first boot. Um, that was like a verbose boot, and it was the uh, bootloader was not actually installed on the hard drive. I was still using the flash drive. So um, once I get through the installation screen and the setup and everything, then um, I'll do it then. All right, so OS 10 is all set up. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go ahead and run through Multi Beast really quick. So I'll go ahead and enable my audio. Okay, and now I will restart. Alright, so this is actually about a week or so later after me actually installing Lion. 
I had to go into my BIOS and change my boot priority of my hard drive so it boots from the solid state first instead of the hard drive. So that was all taken care of. You guys saw me install MultiBeast. All my kecks are installed. Everything is working great. And so this is going to be sort of a real time uh, shutdown and also a startup. So with that said, I'm going to go ahead and shut down my machine. I'm going to go up here and I'll simply restart. So as you can see, it's powering down. Now keep in mind that when this is booting up, most of this is just stuff in the BIOS. You really can't get around that. It's just it's mandatory. Your computer has to go through all the BIOS and detect drives and everything. But um, where you're going to see the pretty decent speed boost is once the um, Apple boot screen comes up. So this is all just BIOS. Like I said, this has nothing to do with the solid state at all right here. So we'll just let it do its thing. And now... Once you can see this little code here, you're going to see Chimera, and if I can zoom in, you can see Macintosh SSD, see what I did there, and you can see it counting down, and so here we go, here's the boot up. Now keep in mind, before I upgraded my solid state, this boot time from here was about 30 to 40 seconds, so you can see there's a little flicker and now it's done. That was my boot time. It's literally about 10 seconds. I didn't type my password. As you can see, all my startup applications done. You know, it's iTunes, Mail. As you can see, I have stickies up here. And um, Twitter. And so all that stuff just instantly started up like this second that I loaded um, into Lion. So um, that was pretty much the end of this video. I mean, you guys saw a real time shutdown and boot up. And so that's pretty much it for this video. That was just, you know, an over-the-shoulder view of me installing Lion from the flash drive I made. Once again, click here to view that video. And if you have any questions about my setup or anything like that, I'm at CPU Kid on Twitter. Feel free to at reply me there. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Uh, please subscribe if, you, if you've been interested in my Hackintosh videos. I have many more coming in the future. But uh, videos are probably going to have to start slowing down just due to school and everything. But look for my next video in the next coming days. It's going to be a stress test. It's just going to be me um, opening up a bunch of applications and a bunch of spaces and just seeing how it performs. So um, with that said, thanks for watching.